Hi and welcome, I'm Andreas. This is the What I Learned video for the third part of my bed build and there are two things I'd like to point you to. First, the ladder. I'm really pleased of how the ladder turned out so there's not really a mistake I made that I want to show you but I just want to explain a little bit of, about how I made it. Um, this ladder um, was a bit tricky for me to think about because it has a 10 degree angle or an 80 degree angle um, you could say and of course working with non-rect, non, what do you call them? Working with non-90 degree angles is always a bit tricky so for the first time I decided, decided to make a mock-up piece out of some scrap wood and that has really turned out to be a very good idea. So. I could re can recommend whenever you work with something that the material is hard to, to come by or in this case it's expensive material, this beech wood, um, and you don't want to mess it up, take the time and do a mock-up with a scrap piece because this has helped me a lot in um, defining the shape of the sides of the letter so that when I got to the real wood that I wanted to use I was sure that everything was going to fit. And one thing that also worked very well was making those jigs for routing the little, um, what do you call them, rabbits? Grooves, rabbits, uh, grooves probably. Routing the grooves for the ladder rungs, I defined the angle and then just made a quick jig and then took the router going past um, two times and each time tried the thickness of the rung until it fit very snugly and that turned out surprisingly well. One thing that I could have done better um, is something that Alfred Neumann pointed me to, um, a very loyal and very constructive um, subscriber to this channel who always has great comments for me so thanks to you Alfred and he pointed me to one thing that usually you don't use the whole board as a tenon which I did and if I had done something a little bit differently it would have been a cleaner look and it would have been much easier for me to do because if I had made the, the tenon a little bit smaller and shorter than the board then I didn't have the need I wouldn't have had the need um, to cut the mortises so cleanly because the the edge of the board would conceal the edge of the mortise and I could have made this edge very clean with a router instead of now where the visible slot um, has to be the exact dimension of the board which of course is much harder to attain than with a clean router edge that you can push the, where you push the router along a straight line or a straight edge so that's something that I'll keep in mind next time and maybe you too whenever you want to do such a joint as I did here um, don't take the whole board as a tenon but make a little rabbit all around so that um, this straight router cut edge conceals the mortise which goes for a much cleaner look. Apart from that I don't really have anything in terms of a big mistake that I learned something from. As I said in the, in the main video I'm really really pleased of, about how this turned out. I'm very proud because this has really taken up a large chunk of my life in the last couple of months, has given me a lot of mental and real practical hurdles to overcome and I'm very happy that it's done. I hope you enjoyed the build. Thanks a lot for watching and see you next time.